I'm waiting for those TIE fighters to take off. Oh, there we go. Heavy Bolter just takes out TIE Fighter. I've got bad news. We have to defend this aircraft carrier. Look at the map. The enemy holds all capture points. Oh yeah. And they've got TIE Fighters because this is no ordinary invasion. This is what would happen if the Galactic Imperium from Star Wars invaded Ravenfield. So how we're going to start out is the enemy holds all of the islands in the archipelago. They also have way more guys than the defenders. But the battle plan is simple. Defend the aircraft carrier at all costs. Now I do have a few tricks up my sleeve just in case we're not doing very good. Because needless to say, the twin ion engine fighters, aka the Ties, are pretty dang quick and fast. And they've even got the bomber variant. And if you go too close to the enemy archipelago, you're gonna have a bad time. You probably are wondering how I got here. Uh, I tried to dogfight some TIE fighters. Look at the amount of ships they're sending our way. That ship just ramped. Hold on, they might be trying to get in through here. Oh, yes they are. Okay, this is bad. Do I have any grenades? Of course not. Oh God, they're here. Oh, okay. The stormtroopers have taken the lower decks and they are moving in in force. This is bad. Am I already gonna have to... Oh my gosh. They're gonna just be moving up the other stairwell, aren't they? Nope. Oh, we've taken it. Jeez, it just took all of our soldiers just to defend the lower levels of the aircraft carrier. So for fear of constant naval invasion, we also have to deal with the stormtroopers flying the TIE fighters. Now I'm gonna see if conventional weaponry Can't lock on these guys. Oh, oh God, I'm getting hurt. Probably my friend who's not the smartest. Oh, but look at that. A TIE fighter just crashed, so they can die. I tell you what, the TIE fighters look so freaking maneuverable. Look at, he just, he just dodged that missile. I mean, he did die, but there's the first TIE. Oh man, watching them explode is just so satisfying. So. I fear that we're not going to be able to do too much in terms of taking the enemy archipelago. So let's take command. Here we go. I'm going to try to take out that helicopter. They still do have some conventional based weapons. Okay, let's try to hit a TIE fighter. This is probably not going to go too well. Ooh, get him. Get him. Yeah. That was impressive, Mando. Very impressive. I had to do that in slow-mo or otherwise I feel like they would have just wrecked us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, slow motion ragdoll stormtroopers. Why is it so satisfying? Oh my god. Look at that. That entire ridge line is controlled by stormtroopers and they sniped me. They sniped me. Now, while we're using conventional aircraft and conventional weaponry, let's just say I've got a few weapons at my disposal we're gonna be bringing in some from a galaxy a long time ago, far, far away. And then another one is from the 41st millennium. So we're gonna have a little bit of diversity here, but it takes a while. Look at that thing go. Come on and get him. Is he dodge? He I thought he dodged that. They're incredibly maneuverable. Get him. Oh, he's strafing. I don't think we're going to be able to get a foothold on the island. Not with TIE fighters and TIE bombers defending. But I'm wondering, maybe I can do a strafing run on top of... Wait a minute. Is that a stormtrooper? I think so. Oh my gosh. Get wrecked, noobs! Oh god. Oh god. This is bad. Please! I come in peace! They always said that stormtroopers couldn't aim, right? What's the deal? Need I say more? Need I say more? Now the first change we're gonna make is I'm gonna use some heavy bolters from the 41st millennium. And we're gonna change it up. Now my people are only gonna control this fortress, the outpost. The battle plan is simple, survive. Now, here we go. Let's get ourselves Phobos pattern bolter. Or do we have, oh my, we have bolt rifles? Let's try a bolt rifle. That thing looks pretty crazy. Okay, now can I look through the scope? Oh wow, we've got a skull on it. 
All right, boys, just, uh, y you're supposed to hold this outpost, remember? Because there's going to be a lot of enemies coming. I wonder if I could... Here we go. It sounds good. Is it hitting like a bolter, though? Oh, man. I feel like it should have destroyed that TIE fighter. How many bolter rounds does it take to take out a helicopter? Way too many. I feel like two bolter rounds should be enough. All right, switching to secondary. Oh! They definitely nailed the sound effects. This thing kicks. Oh God, here comes the TIE fighters. How long can we hold this outpost? I don't think it's gonna be very long. We're gonna have stormtrooper infantry moving in. Oh, look at that. Guys, that's not how you use a boat. Although they did do a little amphibious invasion. All right, bolter round versus boat. Okay, there we go. This thing is crushing them. Who would have won, right? The Imperium of Man from Warhammer 40K or the Galactic Imperium from Star Wars? Oh, I just wrecked. Oh, wait a minute, what are you doing here? Now, what I need is an actual, like, Space Marine mod where you... All right, this isn't the most accurate. Or maybe I'm not the most accurate. <laughs> Hello! Reinforcements have arrived. All right, before we get overrun, I think I need to try out a heavy bolter. Yeah, I want the heavy bolter. Come on, just hold out a few more seconds. <laughs> Look at that TIE bombers flying overhead. Stormtroopers moving in. AT! Wait. Wait a minute. We're gonna give the enemies ATSTs. So what we need to do is go to these vehicles. So now that we're gonna be on the island, we can give them, oh yes, ATST here, ATST there, ATST there. Oh my gosh, I just ramped the difficulty up to like a thousand, I feel like. Now we just hold the outpost as per usual. We're starting with the heavy bolter. ATSTs, I don't know, man, look at those things. I remember playing with these years ago. So this is a heavy bolter, it's got 200 rounds. This thing should lay down the train of pain on the enemy. And once again, I'm waiting for those TIE Fighters to take off. Oh! There we go! Heavy Bolter just takes out TIE Fighter. Oh! Okay, I love this thing, by the way. Can I reload it? Oh, ATSCs are moving in. This is bad. We got TIE Fighters flying overhead. We got paratrooping stormtroopers. And we got ATSCs moving in? This is what it would be like if the Galactic Empire freaking invaded Ravenfield. Luckily, I got a heavy bolter because reasons. The rule of cool. Ah! <laughs> Lando Calrissian scream. It is crazy out here. I think without this, oh God, they're right here. How many heavy bolter rounds does it take? Way too many, way too many. They're overrunning us. I can't kill him. Okay, if you give him ATSDs, you're just gonna get your butt kicked. I have an idea though. Now, the other trick up my sleeve is to change the vehicles that we have. So, as defenders, we are going to have, we could use the Nabu N1 Starfighters. Oh, or we could use the TIE Fighters of the Imperium. This is a very impressive TIE Fighter pack. So ATSDs being overpowered, I think it would make sense for us to retreat back to the carrier. And I just need to get a hold of one of those Nabu N1 starfighters, which apparently is now back in the series thanks to Mando in the Boba Fett series. Now they look a little angular. This, it's an old meme, but it does check out. We got R2 astromech droids. This is great. Oh my God, this thing is kind of squirrely. Oh, all right. Let's deal with the enemy air power. I love the sound of the turbo lasers. Or, I mean, not turbo lasers, but the lasers. I am so maneuverable in this thing. It's actually not even funny. I can slide. But my lasers aren't super powerful. Honestly, this is so sensitive. I'm, I'm flying like trash. <laughs> not that I'm good normally, but I'm definitely bad now. Oh, the TIE fighters. Okay, this is incredible. All right, let's take out this TIE bomber. There we go. Oh. There's too many missiles. <laughs> oh my gosh, I ran right into an ATSD, which just like took it to the chin and didn't even care. All right, so, whoa. 
I was gonna say, we've held this base pretty well, but I guess while I was taking out their air power, they got a naval invasion in. It looked like only one survivor, maybe? Huh. All right, boys, get on that boat. You know what? Let's do a little... Hey, there we go, yeah. Lead me to victory. I'll be the gunner. There's the Naboo. Dude, this thing just sounds so good. Duh, 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 duh. Oh, are we going? Oh, I thought we were going around. Oh, oh my God. That was <laughs> get a stormtrooper with a Kalashnikov. It just, it just feels good, doesn't it? I think my best way to defend the carrier is definitely using the Naboo N1. What a great starfighter. And it's so cool that it's back in the lore. Like, or it's back in like, you know, movies and the shows, right? Oh, that's a TIE fighter. You fire enough rounds in the sky, you're going to hit something. What I want to know is, can you... Oh, we overheated. Do you think you could shoot a missile out of the sky in Ravenfield? I actually don't know if you can do that. Oh, we landed a few troops on there. I don't think they're going to live very long, but we did it. Excuse me. Ooh. Duck, duck, goose. That's my. That's mine. The AI always takes stuff. You can't just tell them, like, hey, man, don't do that. Track warning. Oh, wow. I got these, like, proton torpedoes. Is that a friend? That is friend. I think I should be able to outmaneuver some of these missiles. Let's try to take out the time bomber. Oh, they got a flat gun on me. Look at this thing sliding. This thing is dirty. Oh, we missed. There we go. We took it out. All right, we've landed in enemy territory. I uh, broke my femur, but that's all right. <laughs> it says defeat, but I will never surrender. I will take this out. This is mine. Oh, I need space marine armor. We were definitely outclassed by the Galactic Imperium up until the point that we threw in some spice. The first great addition was definitely this heavy bolter. I love how this guy's firing the minigun from the helicopter on the carrier deck without taking off. Hey, don't shoot me. I'm on your team, man. All right, boys. Best of luck. And then with the addition of the Naboo N1 Starfighter, I think, like, we regained air superiority. I'm going to try to hit this guy. <laughs> did you see that? Of course you did. What are you guys doing? This is not how we make more troops. But I guess, you know, it kind of could be like this if we had all of these weapons. The Galactic Imperium invading Ravenfield. We were outclassed up until we got the N1 Starfighter and the Heavy Bolter. And then after that, we were able to turn the tides of battle back in our favor. The good guys. So thanks for watching another episode of Ravenfield. Pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy the video and you do want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, God. Oh, God.